Welcome guys, I'm Gio here, hope you're having a great day and in this video we talk about subjects. What is subject? Well, it's a special type of observable where we can push new values from outside, practically anywhere from our code. Let me demonstrate that so you get a better idea. First we have to take subject from RxJS and then we need to create one by using new subject and then we have it. Because this is observable, we can subscribe to it. So we can write subject, subscribe. And for the moment, let's just log whatever comes uh, in the subject. Now, if I check this code, uh, nothing's going to happen. Refresh the page and yeah, nothing is logged. Uh, nothing is changed. Why is that? That is because subject contains no value at this point and uh, nothing is to display. So how we push new values into subject? It's very easy. We can take subject and we will just call next. And whatever value we put here, it will be displayed in the log because we have subscription. Refresh the page and here we have, this is five. Because it is observable, subject we can have many subscriptions on it so let's add another one and in this case uh, we will take whatever value is in subject and multiply it by two and then we will log the value if we check that again we'll receive five and ten and that's how subjects work we can have many subscriptions and we can push values from many different places in our code. And this can be very useful where we want to pass in different uh, messages between our parts of our application. So let's push another value. Let's say we push four and check that as well. Fresh the page and yes, it is working. We have different types of subjects if you look at this. We have behavior subject, replay subject, we have async subject and uh, generally speaking they are uh, working like regular subject but there are some subtle differences and uh, let me show you that right now. Let's remove this and let's say that I will push this call here. Before I show you result I want you to pause the video and think what the result might be. Okay, let's refresh the page and we have received four, but clearly we have two subscriptions. So what's going on? If we check this code, now first we create the subject, then we subscribe to the subject. We have this active subscription and then we push new value in subject and this subscription receives that value. After that, we are making another subscription, but at this point, no value is in the subject. So only active subscriptions are going to receive the value when we are pushing the value in the subject. If I copy this and push five, now this five will be received uh, in both subscriptions here and here. Let's check this. And as you see, it is working. We have received the four, then five and 10, because at this point, when we push this value five, subject has two active subscriptions and both of them receive this value. It is distributed to both of them. But if some other subscription comes after that, uh, it's not gonna receive any value until we push something into subject. And this is how it works. Sometimes when we build apps uh, desired behavior is that we want to share the latest value between all the subscribers so let's say i push in four and then some other subscription comes i want to push this four to new subscribers as well and that's why we have behavior subject if i replace this subject with behavior subject and check the result we will receive four eight and five and ten Let's check this. Refresh the page and we see undefined 4, 8, 5 and 10. 
Why is that? Why do we have undefined? That is because when we subscribe at this point, there is nothing in our behavior subject and the value is undefined. That's why uh, it is getting undefined here. Then we push 4 and 4 is received here. We display 4. After that, we subscribe. We make another subscription that doubles the current value. And because this is a behavior subject, it's going to take the latest value, which is 4, and it will push this to new subscription. And here we receive 8. After that, we push another value into our subject, and then we receive this uh, in both of these subscriptions, and they work. We can initialize subject with some value when we create this. So if I put 1 here, instead of undefined, I'll receive 1. Refresh the page, and as you see, it's the 1. And uh, this is how behavior subject works. From my experience, this is the most useful type of subject that we have in library, and it can serve as reactive variable, if you will, where you always have the latest value, and you can always change it by calling the next, and all the subscribers, current and future, will be notified. So that's very, very useful. Let's rearrange our example, uh, move this lock down here, and let's push some values, some multiple values into subject. And let's push just numbers. If I refresh the page now, I'm going to receive 5 because at this point when we subscribe, latest value is 5. There are certain cases, from my experience, very rare though, that you need to not only keep the latest value, but some number, some arbitrary number of latest values. Okay, when I refresh this page, I receive the 5 because that's how behavior subject works. It, it keeps the latest value. But uh, in certain cases, I want to, let's say, keep the last two values or three values or four and so on. So that's why we have replace subject. When we create the replace subject, uh, we push in the number of values that we want it to remember let's uh, take two in this case and whenever new subscriptions come uh, it's going to keep the latest two values and it's going to push these values to all the subscribers so it's like a behavior subject but instead of keeping the latest values it is going to keep latest n values that we define when we create replace subject so if i refresh the page now i will receive four and five that happens because we have specified two and the latest two values will be distributed to new subscribers. Of course, if I subscribe to this from the beginning, I'm going to receive all the values. We receive these numbers. This is the behavior like a uh, regular subject has. There is another type of subject, async subject. I've personally never used it, but certainly it is in library and let's cover this as well. So let's create async subject instead of regular one. And now let's subscribe to this here. And uh, before I continue, just pause the video and think what's going to happen. Let's refresh the page and I received nothing. Okay, it seems like a subject. Maybe it's not receiving values because we have subscribed at this point. Let's check that. Let's move this and uh, add our subscription here. So subscription happens before we push the values. And let's check this again. And I have received no value again. Why is that? What's happening? Let's explain how async subject works. At the beginning of the video, I said that subjects are special type of observables. So the way async subject works is that it's going to push the latest value, the last value, to subscribers when this subject gets completed. So like we can uh, complete observables, we have completion event, we can complete subjects. At this point, when we subscribe to this and push all these values, 
subject is not completed yet. Now, if we complete our subject by calling complete, and we have the five. That's because async subject ignores all the values, and when it gets completed, it's going to push the latest value to all the subscribers. So if we move this here and refresh the page, we're still going to receive the five. Now, if I move this, let's say here, so we push one, two, three, then complete the subject, then push and other values, and then subscribe, we are going to receive three. Refresh the page, and here it is, we have the three. Why is that? That is because after we push all these values, subject, async subject, ignored all of them, and then at this point we completed this, so it kept the three. Now after it is completed, subject doesn't care about new values that we push, so it is completed, it, it's done. And that's why it kept the one value. So async subject only emits the one value, uh, it is the last value that arrives uh, before completion, and that's how it works. So let's recap. We have subject, it's the simplest one. Uh, it is going to distribute the current value, whatever value we push at this point, to current subscribers and future subscribers and future subscriptions are not going to receive the latest value. It is the simplest one. Behavior subject keeps the latest value and whenever new subscriptions come in, it's going to distribute that single value, single latest value to them. Replay subject is like behavior subject, but it can distribute not only one, but n number of values, latest n number of values. And async subject only is going to emit one value, and uh, this one value is the latest value. After we complete this, it's going to emit this. If subject, if async subject isn't completed, it's not gonna emit anything. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button, subscribe and uh, share it with your friends.